Well, that little uh, battery that I made uh, worked out real well. It's holding its voltage uh, quite well. And uh, it runs this little uh, blocking oscillator uh, full on bright. And it's been running for a day and a half uh, doing different things. Uh, I tried it on all different kinds of things today. So with that success in mind, uh, I moved up to the next step was to start building a battery for this uh, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0 that uh, is an AC inverter that uh, should work pretty good for what I want to use it for. Anyway, this little battery is only half built. It's uh, got six cells. I'm sorry, four cells. Puts out six volts. Uh, I am using magnesium on that one, and uh, I don't have enough to finish the the whole battery. It's just six volts, but it uh, it does run this oscillator. And um, it's like I say, it's AC, so you can run a long line on it and not lose the um, amount of energy you've got. So this is an example of if you had the, the materials to build your own battery um, and there was no sun and you didn't have access to batteries, uh, this uh, basically uses water, uh, activated charcoal, um, a little bit of salt and vinegar, and then... Um, the magnesium. Now the anode in that, I uh, don't have them to build six more of those or seven more of those, whatever I need to get up to the voltage I need. I don't get the voltage out of that anode uh, that I do out of magnesium. It's about 0.7 volts and that's way up there at over a volt. So to make this kind of thing happen, you need a whole bunch of those. So I'm still scratching my head as to which way to go. If I had four more of those rods, uh, I'd be able to get these things on full bright, and that would be um, really nice. And what you do then is if you didn't want to use the battery, you just uh, take the uh, magnesium out and uh, dry it off real good, and it would uh, stay until you uh, reactivated the battery with water. And uh, that's how that battery is. There's nothing caustic in that, by the way. There's no chemicals in there that would uh, um, really be acidic or basic to the point where it would burn you. It's, uh, like I say, salt water and a little bit of vinegar. So it's not a, um, a caustic or damaging type of electrolyte. But it does run this uh, little uh, jewel ringer, uh, Super Jewel Ringer 2.0. And you do, do have the ability to make uh, AC with that circuit, so you could run an extension cord to where you needed it. So Anyway, that's my progress uh, to date on this um, whole project of uh, making your own light. Thanks for watching.